Hello, and welcome to another Fallout 76 episode. Today, we're going to discover the Enclave, and what it is, and where it is. Our journey begins just near Harper's Ferry area, and we're looking for an abandoned waste dump. And we found our first clue, a bypass holotape.
Invalid credentials. Access denied. Invalid credentials. Access denied. And we have a new quest. Bunker Buster. Uncle Sam refers to um, Senator Sam Access Blackwell. Denied. So I'm pretty sure that this was his bunker. Now we have to search for the rest of the clues for a way inside the bunker. Follow the trail. I almost missed it. It's an operation summary related to Sam Blackwell. Commencing op summary, Agent Gray reporting. Blackwell won't be causing any more problems. The bypass holotape got me into the bunker as expected. Though a longer range is recommended for future models. Essentially had to play the thing standing on top of the access panel to get it to work. Without the lures to distract those freaks, I might be dead instead of the senator. Once inside, I was briefly halted by Blackwell's laser grid. But resetting the power allowed me to grant myself clearance. Recovery of the access card to our facility was less successful. I found a keypad, but was unable to decipher the code. Recommend sending in a specialist to collect it. I'm proceeding to the next target, after which I'll... Wait. What, what happened to the power? The lures! <laughs> oh, God. And he was beheaded by a death claw or two. Now we can use the bypass. User access updated. Welcome. So we've made it inside Senator Sam Blackwell's bunker. And now it's time to explore and see if we can get further into the mystery of the Enclave.
Incorrect credentials. And now we can search Judy Blackwell's terminal for any information regarding what's been going on in this area. And there's our next clue. We can reset the security system.
Hand scanner credentials cleared. Please upload new handprint at nearest active scanner. Credentials recorded. Access granted. And now we can enter Senator Sam Blackwell's office area and search for even more clues. The person whose body was dead outside without the head was looking for his congressional ID. So who was trying to kill Sam Blackwell? Let's find out. As soon as we get out of our power armor. So Judy Blackwell died of the Scorch disease, and that was her burial site we saw when we first entered the abandoned waste dump. So he wanted to take her to the congressional bunker, but because he was considered a traitor, he couldn't do that. This must be a stealth vertebrate coming for him. Let's continue to search the room. We have some clues. This is his welcome to the Congress ID number. That could be one of the uh, numbers for the keypad.
So there was something there about a timing discrepancy. I have to do a little bit more research on that. Something to do with when the missiles would launch after a nuclear strike. And I forgot to read the second page because I was looking for the code. So now we have some choices as to what the code could be. Error. Six-digit code required. Code accepted. So of course I'm looking for like a sliding wall or something. But there's our quest marker. And now we have Sam Blackwell's Congressional Access Card. This is what the assassin was looking for, but couldn't get past the code in the keypad. Now let's play the tape. As soon as we find it. Access card upon your arrival, and our automated bunker management mainframe will do the rest, guiding you through the process of getting to know your new home, all while supporting the continuation of the necessary functions of government. So when the inevitable comes, won't you join us at the White Spring? In the next episode, we will continue with one of us and journey to the White Spring bunker to find the last remnants of the United States government, also known as the Enclave. Stay tuned, thanks for watching, and see you in the wasteland.